This is the solar system. It's made of eight planets. Some are closer to the sun than the asteroid belt, and some are farther than the sun to the asteroid belt. And we live on this planet. I'm going to show you a closer view of this planet. This is what it looks like. Now, this solar system has eight planets, but some of them you can't walk on. And some of them you can walk on, but some of them that you can walk on are really hot. Look at this one. Look how close it is to this. It's called the sun. It is made out of hydrogen and oxygen, like fire. And its core is, is 10 times denser than gold. And this is the closest planet to the sun, Mercury. Smaller planet, but larger than Earth's moon. It, look. This is the size of Earth's moon, and this is the size of Mercury. But since, if you put it right here, since the Earth a little bit, the Earth is the biggest planet that you can that you can step on. Other planets, like these huge planets, are called gas jets. Well, not like Earth with a rock. Like, you can't point this, like, you can't point your finger through this globe because it's rocky and Earth is rocky. But gas giants are not rocky. This is a full planet from the sun, Rocky. And this is the size of the biggest planet. It's great red spot is 10 times bigger than Earth. You can fit 10 Earths inside Jupiter's great red spot. Jupiter's great red spot is a hurricane. Let's see, look at the next planet from the sun, Venus. It's not the closest planet to the sun, but it is the hottest. It is the slowest rotating planet in our solar system, but it's the hottest planet in our solar system. It's really small because it's called, called an inner, inner planet. It's really close to the sun, and it is burning. There's atmosphere. And the and the planet traps all the heat on its surface. And it has a solid surface, but it's burning hot. Now, finally, the planet that we live on, Earth. This is a close-up look of this. These white stripes are clouds, which are over this actual place. But right here, or where the clouds supposed to be. It takes in this, oh, all the way up here is the atmosphere. And it is really hot. It gets really hot. And going through the atmosphere is called re energy because it's really hot. Look, this is the size of Earth for scale. This is the size of the Earth for autumn scale. I put the Earth on scale for this and arm scale for this. Arm scale is when it's huge, but scale is when it's tiny. That's why it's tiny. Next planet does not have much water, they, but they found water on it. This is called Mars, the one planet. It, look. As you can see, on the top of it, it's fully red. Bottom of it, it's fully red. Everywhere it's red. But these, these places are pieces of ice 
in snow on Mars. Now the next planet is really big. It might even be, it might, I might have not turned it into scale. I might have turned it into autumn scale. No, I turned it into scale. But look, this is, no, I took out the wrong planet. Let me put this planet back in. Now I need to take this out. Now, this is a planet. Not the planet you live on. It's called Jupiter, the biggest planet. Look, it's so smaller than this. Because I put on skin. And arm skin, it would be this big. Actually, it would be this big. Scale for Saturn, it would be this big. Scale for Uranus, it would be this big. Scale for Neptune, it would be this big. Scale for Mars, it would be this. Small scale for scale for Mercury, it will be this small. Scale for the moon would be this small, and then scale for Venus would be this big because Venus is as big as the Earth but it spins a different way. So, this is Jupiter, it spins the fastest, and it, this right here called Great Red Spot. If you see something red that looks like it's a dot on Jupiter, it's, it's a Great Red Spot. It's a raging storm. It's a hurricane. Hurricanes form from water. Uh, so there's water. There could be water on Jupiter like in the Pacific Ocean. But this water is way bigger than this. Ocean. Actually, this is how big the ocean would be. Now, let's get Jupiter back in orbit of the sun. Let's talk about Saturn today. Next. Now, this rocky thing is called the asteroid bed. The asteroids all. One of these asteroids are the biggest asteroids in the whole entire asteroid bed. This is Saturn. It is known by its rings. Look, do you see these? You can take them off. But now, people thought when the dinosaurs were there, Saturn didn't have rings. I watched some of my CG movies and it said that Saturn roared into its rings and then Saturn did this. But sometimes we do not know at all. There's one moon that is near Saturn and that moon got ripped apart and it made some rings. Saturn has the most rings in the whole entire solar system. The rings, the rings, you might not be able to see. I lost its rings. So, let's talk about the last two planets. The thing that I said was skin, but it was actually drawn to skin. I forgot. So, look. This is yours. It, instead of rolling on its top like Saturn, it was on its side. And it has 13 rings. It is this. Have you noticed that's not going like Saturn like this? It's going like this. Uranus doesn't actually have this. It just makes it so they actually over the sun. So let's talk about the last thing. The father orbiting came from the sun is Neptune. It's cold, it's dark, windy. Probably do not go into its atmosphere. Its atmosphere has a great dark spot, like the great red spot, but it's dark. 
Neptune is bigger than the whole entire planet. It is the smallest gas giant. So, let's talk about Neptune. Its, bi its moon is called Trident. It spins the opposite way that the planet does. And that's our solar system!